for his remarks. Thank you, Major Colley. Good morning, everyone. I want to begin by acknowledging our leader, Colonel Christopher Paris, and his command staff. And I want to thank them for welcoming me here today, here to PSP headquarters, for the opportunity to honor our fallen heroes. Colonel Paris is a fine leader, as you all know. He is a trusted confidant to me. He is a man of deep integrity. He represents the Pennsylvania State Police with honor, day in and day out, all across our great commonwealth. The women and men of the Pennsylvania State Police, I know, go to work every single day to protect and to serve our commonwealth and its communities. And it is my honor to serve as your governor and to have your backs. Traditionally, I know this ceremony is held at the PSP Academy in Hershey, in front of Memorial Wall, where 104 names are etched into the stone so that we may honor their service and never, ever forget them. We're here, of course, at PSP headquarters, and the Colonel tells me this is the first time he believes this ceremony has ever been held here, because collectively we are showing that we have the backs of the state police, of our troopers today and those who will come tomorrow, because we are investing in a new academy to train the future generations of troopers. And I look forward to this ceremony being back at that facility when the work is complete. But no matter where we honor the 104 heroes, we salute them and their families and their sacrifice that they make. And so today, we gather to recognize not just that sacrifice, but we recognize their life in service. And we reaffirm today that we will never, ever forget. Today we honor the newest name etched onto that wall and listed on this plaque, Trooper J. Rougeau, who embodied the department's legacy of service, a dedicated trooper a public servant, a caring son, a loving husband, Jay Rougeau was a warm and positive presence in every room he entered. In every part of his life, Jay wanted to give back and serve others. Whether he was on the court at the Corey YMCA mentoring local kids during youth basketball games, or of course on the job as a trooper. He was the kind of public servant that lived every day putting others before himself, whether he was in uniform or not. And that is how he lived on June the 17th. That day was Jay's day off. He could have decided to take his well-earned and well-deserved rest and enjoy the weekend with Chloe and the dogs. That's not who he was. When he heard that his fellow troopers and his community were under attack, he activated himself. He raced into the station. He put on his gear and he got a patrol car to protect his community. Jay's life was stolen from us because he drove toward danger to protect all of us. Today, I'm proud to join his fellow officers from Troop J and G and his wife Chloe, his mother Angela, and his family who are here mourning his loss, honoring his life, and remembering his incredible sacrifice. We honor Trooper Rougeau and the memories of the 103 other troopers whose name are on that wall and on those plaques. We salute the very call that they answered. I believe wearing the badge is a mark of a noble profession. And I am here on behalf of a grateful Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, 13 million strong, to thank the women and men in law enforcement for putting themselves on the line every single day for us. I have always admired and respected their strength, their willingness to put on a uniform, to kiss their families goodbye in the morning, 
and head out into the streets and in Pennsylvania communities with the goal of keeping us safe, keeping us safe. Leaders like Lieutenant James Wagner of Troop G, who was injured in the line of duty that day. Lieutenant Wagner, we are grateful for your service, and we are glad to have you here and glad to have you on the mend. I know your families, all of your families, feel the strain of that commitment, and I know the burdens that they carry and the sacrifices that they make. Knowing that our officers, our troopers, head toward danger, toward conflict, when others literally run away, well, the First Lady and I are grateful for that. And knowing that you live your lives, understanding that a split second could make a difference. To Chloe and to all the families who are here of our fallen troopers, the First Lady and I offer our deepest, most heartfelt condolences. And as we add Jay's name to the wall of honor, and it is honor, I want to thank Chloe for your service to this Commonwealth as well. I want to thank you for the courage and the strength that you've demonstrated, and through you, the courage that you have given others. Your willingness to lift up your voice and rightly demand that we do more when it comes to protecting police officers and state troopers all across this Commonwealth by addressing the unacceptable rise in gun violence and the challenges of mental health that oftentimes lead to destruction in our communities. Since we laid Trooper Rougeau to rest, I've had the privilege to get to know Chloe a bit. We sat in my office in the Capitol together. Chloe urged us to do better on these fronts, and she's right. Chloe, we hear you. And we are working toward that. And your powerful voice will help us make meaningful progress here in Pennsylvania. Thank you for your service. And thank you for your willingness to lend your voice to this important work. I admire you for your strength, truly. We owe it to Chloe. We owe it to all of you, to Stephanie and the others who are here who are mourning a loved one. We owe it to you to make sure that we are always there for you, that we support the work that our law enforcement does day in and day out. Please know that my administration will never take for granted, never take for granted, the sacrifices of those in uniform and the families that stand with you, beside you, and behind you. We have your backs, both in words and in deeds. And that is why, as your governor, I'm working together with Colonel Paris to make sure that we make historic investments in our state police. We were proud to work together to secure funding for an additional 400 cadets last year, and we're coming back this year with 400 more. Now is the time to invest in law enforcement. Now is the time to invest in our state police. And under Colonel Paris's leadership, that is exactly what we are doing. Making those investments honors the work that people like Trooper Rougeau did. And we have to continue that commitment all across Pennsylvania. And so, to every family member here, to everyone who is mourning the loss of a loved one, to every person here committed to the safety and the well-being of the good people of Pennsylvania, I simply say thank you. And I hope you know that we will never, ever forget your loved one. We will never stop caring about you, and we will never stop respecting the fine women and men of the Pennsylvania State Police. We have your backs, and we will continue to honor and respect the lives of your family members. And so, on behalf of a grateful Commonwealth, may the memory of Trooper Rougeau and everyone on that wall be a blessing unto all. Thank you, and God bless. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you for his remarks the Commissioner of the Pennsylvania State Police, Colonel Christopher Paris.
Good morning and welcome to